Lori Lightfoot, to everybody here from Dalton and everybody watching, she has no legal authority to do anything. It's a waste of time. She has a waste of time and money. It's going to cost you at least $30,000. And she has no subpoena power. She's getting paid $400 an hour. $30,000 is 72 hours. She'll be done in two weeks. And then what is she going to find? That, she, that this woman that we all know she's corrupt is corrupt? She's going to ask Tiffany Henyard for, for documents that she's never provided to anybody else under FOIA, under law? The Attorney General can't even get her to fork over documents. You think she's going to hand it over to Lori Lightfoot? She's not. Newsflash, she's not. Tiffany Henyard is going, she has a police vehicle as her personal vehicle. That's against state law. State law. We should call the police right now and have them confiscate her vehicle. South Holland Police, South Holland Police needs to confiscate her Tahoe because it has lights. As a municipal police plate, and Thornton Township's not allowed to have, per state statute, is not allowed to have a police vehicle. And she's driving around in an illegal police vehicle. Probably the person driving is not even law enforcement, impersonating a police officer. You should be ashamed of yourself. 16,800 people watching, Mayor Henyard, Supervisor Henyard, whatever you want to call yourself, Crooked Henyard. And you don't even have the guts to see them, look them in the eye. You don't even have the gut because you're a coward and you're a tyrant. I've seen, I've seen people like you before, but not on your level. Now that was a journalist going off on Tiffany Henyard, uh, and as he seemingly slammed Lori Lightfoot um, for also saying that she has no authority to do anything, uh, and it's a waste of time and money, really, and just calling out Tiffany for being crooked. Today she got subpoenaed. Well, I don't know if it was today, but. I just got this news today <laughs> that she's been subpoenaed. I think that'd be more accurate from my position. Let's go ahead and check this out real quick. So Dalton, Illinois Mayor Tiffany Henyard and other village officials over corruption accusations. Madeline Rivera joins us, joins us with the details. Good morning, Madeline. Good morning, guys. The FBI says it conducted a court-authorized law enforcement activity in the area of Dalton, Illinois. Four agents from the FBI served two federal subpoenas on Friday to obtain personnel and business records. Dalton and its mayor, Tiffany Henyard, have been embroiled in scandal for weeks. Henyard and a village trustee are named in a sexual assault lawsuit. Henyard is also accused of misusing funds, spending large amounts of taxpayers' money on lavish trips and security detail. At one point, she billed the village nearly $8,000 for a glam and makeup team over just two months, listing it as an assistant cost. That's despite her nearly $300,000 salary, which is higher than the state's governor. Earlier this month, wow. the village board hired former Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot as special investigator to look into the allegations of corruption. We don't know how our money is being spent. We are about at a $7 million deficit uh, because the board of trustees who handle the money, um, they haven't received any of their uh, documentation. Uh, we can only assume that it's at $7 million and growing. Henyard has a statement out on Facebook saying to all you clowns that's a part of this circus, misery needs company. I pray for you all. Stop chasing fake news. Will Let me ask y'all this question before I give my thoughts. Do you think that they will prosecute her or give her any form of discipline if it all turns out to be true? Um, or do you think it just will not happen under this current administration? I genuinely want to know your answer. The FBI is on the trail, though, on uh, Tiffany Henyard's trail, that is. Uh, two subpoenas, two federal subpoenas was filed, and the first one was for employment records, personal files, and uh, disciplinary reports for the 15 Dalton employees, including three police officers and Keith Freeman. Um, Freeman, who was the village administrator, uh, administrator, was charged with bankruptcy fraud on Monday. Out, so some official charges have been put out there, and yes, look, it's not looking so nice for uh, uh, Henyard right now. And we've seen her try to play the victim card. We've seen her try to play the race card on these situations. She will have her day in court uh, with these, with everything that's happening now. It's definitely seeming to evolve into that. And we will see how this plays out. The second subpoena was served specifically for Freeman asking for records of all companies associated with him. 
and FBI was conducting quarter authorized law enforcement activity in the, that area today. Department of Justice policy prevents the FBI from commenting on the nature of any investigation that may be occurring. There's no further information available for the release at this time, the FBI said in the statement. So that's all we got for right now, folks, but it's not looking good. The negligence, in my opinion, is just the negligence, the entitlement, um, the fact that you the abusing the public trust and their money like yeah that's not okay i don't understand how people don't understand these concepts you're getting paid more than a state's governor i mean and on top of that you're using additional funds additional tax funds to fund your lavish vacations you know what i'm saying get your hair done and all that you see how i'm over here looking my hair ain't been done well but anyhow <laughs> sound real fanny when it's like yeah. Let's dive into this situation a little bit deeper and gain a little bit more of an understanding as to what's really going on. Because I ain't no law enforcement officer. I, some of the stuff be going over my head. This indictment on one count of bankruptcy fraud says Freeman falsely stated he only worked for the township and made just over $99,000 last year. Prosecutors say he tried to hide his Dalton earnings via a pass-through company, which brought his income to $195,000 last year. They further allege the village of Robbins has a claim against Freeman for more than $90,000 he took without authorization from a previous post he held as village administrator there. Freeman is a key player in our reporting on Tiffany Henyard because of how many roles he plays for her. In addition to the Dalton and Township jobs, Freeman also, for a time, was the registered agent of the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking moving like we do right thing. That's right. right. While Henyard's namesake charity claims to help cancer patients, WGN Investigates has reported it received most of its early money from taxpayers and has failed to file required paperwork showing how it spends its money. In all seriousness, I have no doubt in my mind that some level of wanting to um, actually do good in the community was there, but you often get kind of sidetracked with money always being in the middle ground of certain things. So uh it, it, it's it's sad honestly it's really sad it's, it really is because you watch clips like this we've seen this clip before but we watch clips like this where she literally admits to knowing that there are things going on behind the scenes and she's only willing to expose those things on the basis of them i mean being in the basis being because everybody's been trying to expose her not because she actually wanted to do it and get rid uh, rid of it out of good morals and integrity check this clip out hey guys this is super mayor tiffany a henyard the people's mayor so you guys doing a lot of snitching and y'all went and got my site shut down my tiffany on the move podcast tiffany henyard on the move podcast well it said that when truth speaks everybody gets scared and everybody gets the running well just like i told you if you want the tea get it from me and if you want to check me out, because I got other platforms, go to Spotify. And that way you'll see Tiffany Henry on the Move podcast. Yes, Spotify. And you can also go to um, Apple Podcasts because those are different outlets to view uh, all the content. And y'all ask me for the receipts, but I got the receipts right here on ice, like I always do. Y'all ask for it. And I'm about to deliver. I got episode after episode after episode. Just wait your turn. Yeah, because your turn coming. Just wait. Y'all doing all that talking. Y'all doing all that lying. And I told y'all, stop lying on me before I start telling the truth on y'all. And that's what this is. True speech right here. Residents, community, nation. Y'all gonna be shocked at the mess that's all around y'all. But I want to educate people um, in my delivery of receipts that y'all thought I didn't have. <laughs> I always keep my receipts. I mean, I do a lot of talking or it may come out a little slower than norm, but I keep receipts. That way I can educate the world as what happens behind the scenes that y'all don't see. I don't like fake news because fake news tell you one-sided narratives. They don't tell you the truth. As you can see, you saw that first one. First one was lit, wasn't it? It was off the chain. And the problem I got is when they do it, it's cool. But when I do it, it's a problem. We're here to help each other, not hurt each other. And it's a shame that us, us, I'm talking to my black and brown communities, will sit here and fight. Y'all don't know what's going on. At the end of the day, we Americans, we're just tired of having to deal 
with corrupt politicians we're tired of having to deal with people who are taking advantage of the people and not actually serving the people or aiding them in no kind of way we're just tired of it man can we get somebody in these positions that can just not be out there for money not be out there for their own personal gain please